Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters, good times. What's got here? And welcome back to another episode of Stud Tech. And of course, we're here in Stan's village as we reconstruct this village into something super awesome. And in the last few episodes, we have been building the Pam's Harvest Craft Super Farm Headquarters Shop, whatever you want to call it. And in our last live stream here, you can see we took care of all sorts of amazing things over here. We've got some pots, we have a cool little sign. Tell me that's like the coolest thing ever, that sign up there, as that's kind of the symbol that's used a lot to represent the mod, and I thought that would be a perfect little sign to put up on the front. And we've got lots of cool little fruit trees and all sorts of great stuff all assorted around there. So let's head inside, and if you remember here, this was in our last episode where we built the interior. We got the shop all settled up. Um, I don't have a great system yet for storing all the different uh, fruits and vegetables, but uh, eventually we'll get there, and I want to add a bunch more tools and things on our tool racks up there and of course let's have ourselves a cookie no it's still cauliflower no <laughs> anyway let's move in here and in today's episode we are going to make a root cellar so we're going to dig down here and go underground and make one super awesome root cellar so let me grab out our tool and let's get started so let's start cutting this all out and getting this all out of here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get into it. I think this is going to be a really fun episode. We've got some really fun and exciting things planned for the design. So I'm really happy to uh, finally get this one built because I've been looking forward to this one. All right, there we go. What do you think? What do you think? Is that That's probably about deep enough. Let me see how many clicks down we have. Let's make it go one more down. There we go. Wonderful. Awesome. And then uh, we'll slowly hammer this out. I thought we were actually going to deal more with the dirt. So I actually brought my uh, big shovel with me that knocks out the 4x4. Turns out I should have brought my big hammer. So let me carve this out and then we'll get to that fun detail work. All right, and welcome back. Got this all cleared out and excavated out. So looking super snazzy. Now what we're doing here is we've got this section here is 9 by 7. So looking super snazzy. And I don't have the exact dimension on how tall the room is yet. We'll get to that soon. All right, so first thing we're going to do here is uh, we're going to get down our super awesome floor. So we're just going to, like usual, we're going to stagger some of our blocks like we've been doing because this is so much fun. And I absolutely love the style. And uh, we're just going to just kind of stagger these blocks out just a little bit. We could always come back and refine a little bit where it's needed, where it's needed. Now, once we get a good base down, I would like to show you guys some cool little extra blocks we're going to stick in here to give it more of that uh, root cellar feel. All right, so we're going to go into our chisel mod and we're going to get out some mossy stone and we're going to pick some stone. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to decrease the size because I only want a few of these and I'm going to get some of you and I'm just going to get just a tiny bit more. Let me get a little more here and I think I'm going to get this one. Awesome, wonderful. And then I'm going to bring this in here once again. And this one, this damaged cobblestone tiles is so cool. All right, all right, get a load of this. Get a load of this. Get close to the screen. All right, there you go. Look at that. There's dirt built into these little pieces. Isn't that absolutely awesome? It's perfect for an underground root cellar. Like, I love that. I absolutely love that. And then also we can stick in a couple of these pieces here or there. Let's throw in 1v1 right there. Let's um, let's do one here. And then let's go once again back into our chisel mod and put that there. And let's just mix it up a little bit. And let's do this one this time. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. And we'll put that one there. And let's remove you. Looking super snazzy. And I want to clear this out for now. And I'm just going to place some of these ones here and there and maybe right there and there awesome okay very good and now i'm going to get out mr carpenter block here and i'm going to go boom and i'm gonna bam and just stagger those around just a little bit now from here we're going to decide which one we're going to fill in with dirt and which one we are going to do as glowstone i feel like maybe this might be a great one to do in glowstone um, let's do one right there and we'll just yeah, we'll just kind of fill in here Let's do actually let's put that one there and we're gonna do another one there there and there I think that fills in really nice. All right, very good very good and then get out our glowstone of course and then I think this is probably a good spot and Let's just do another one over here just to make sure that area stays light and bright and I'm feeling like that's probably good. That's probably great. All right. So next ones, we're going to fill in these with dirt. Now, don't worry. These aren't going to be a dirt floor. That wouldn't look great. That wouldn't look great at all. So uh, 
we will get this going here very good very good and then we're gonna go bam uh, did that lift up I think it did maybe it didn't hold on let's check this there it goes okay it did I just not noticed it okay and then let's see let's see let's see we're gonna do you right there mmm I don't know I don't know I'm gonna actually back that one off there we go and I'm gonna do that as a smooth one nope that's not what I want. That's not what I want. That is what I want. Looking super fine. Good, 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 great. Um, okay, okay. Feeling it. Doing it. What hey, get back here. I wanted you back. I wanted you back. I wanted you to go like maybe right here and maybe right there. Just to mix that up a little bit. And yeah, so I think that is starting to come together pretty good. Now, of course, we can always come back here and refine it. I think that's what we'll do. We don't want to spend our entire time here messing with these blocks. But um, yeah, let me actually go back in the chisel mob one more time and get out just a smidge more of these guys. I think these are what we need to mix up the floor just a little bit more so it's not all the same. And I'm just going to fill in these blocks here because we're actually not going to be able to see those very well for what we're going to do. And I'll put you right there for now. And then boom and all set and ready to rock there we go okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out some oak logs very cool and let me knock you out there we go I should have knocked that out oh well all right and then we're gonna bring this piece here and then we're gonna go over here there we go now we can get a gauge on how tall the ceiling is so one two three four oh it's only three blocks four that's fine. I was thinking it would be about three, but four is much better than I anticipated. So that is perfect. There we go. And the blocks, let's see. I think I'm going to go across here now. I'm going to bring this board across here and I'm going to sneak on over here and do the same. Need to start removing some of, hmm. This is going to be a little tight right there. I wonder if I want to increase the ceiling just one more block. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a little tight there. So we'll come back to that and decide um, if we want to raise the ceiling one more set or not. It's a, I think it'll probably be okay. We won't hit our head. And, you know, a root cellar is not going to have a really, you know, um, tall ceiling in it. So that's okay. And, um, yeah, so, of course, the root cellar is going to store all of our different roots and things that we find in our farm. So that's going to be really awesome. Okay, well, there we go. So give me one more second here. Let me kind of catch my breath, and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And I forgot to show you guys the farm, of course. But the one thing we've worked on a little bit on the live stream is to terraform a little cliff along here to kind of give the area a little more visual appeal. Like when you're up here, it looks super cool to kind of see the uh, the uh, village and the farm from here. It looks super awesome. Now, a super cool subscriber mentioned that it'd be nice to build a waterfall through here. So we'll definitely take care of that in a future live stream. So let's head back here and go back underground to work once again on our super awesome root cellar. So now we're going to kind of frame up and we've got to get this door back on here. We've got to get that door back on there. But um, we're going to start to kind of frame up the shells for all the seeds and different things. Now, I do have some placeholder blocks along here. I would like to add some more detail so it's not just smooth stone. So add some more things in and around there. And we need uh, material for our staircase. So let's head on down. And as you can see, I readjusted these pillars. I added one across here and then cut out that middle piece there. And that looks super awesome. I dug up a little bit on the hill. We'll do a lot more detail work on our ceiling eventually. But um, yeah, let's get actually to work in here a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these guys and we're just going to run them along here. There we go. Looking super snazzy. All right. And then uh, let's see. We're going to knock out these. And then I'm going to back into the wall a little bit here. There we go. And let's clear away our extra dirt. And I'm going to need a block here, but I'm going to place that. Whoops. Not that. That is a mistake. I'm going to place this as a temporary block there for now. All right, so now we're going to grab out our chests. So these are just for a little bit extra storage. There we go. And then let's fill in these back sections here. Awesome. There we go. And let's see, one more. No, no, we're good. Wonderful. And then we'll grab out our oak shells once again. And we're going to place them here because the chest will open with that over them. So that's pretty darn cool. All right, so I think that looks good. Now let's move over it on this other side here. So I just want to make sure I line these up appropriate. Whoops. There we go. And then can we put that? Ooh, that's a little glitchy. We may want to adjust that. 
we might want to adjust these two. These are a little bit flashy and a little annoying, but we'll see. So in this section over here, um, I was planning on doing these kind of in uh, kind of the bottles if I had the Pam's Harvest Crap loaded up. Here we go. So some of these juices and different things you could see here and here, I think that would be really fun to put on this wall. Now, I don't have all the necessary supplies for these things yet. But um, we eventually get this wall built up, and I think this will be kind of the juicer headquarters, if you will. And uh, we'll have that stuff all set up and ready to go. All right, that's looking, looking good. Looking good. I like it. I like it. Hopefully you guys are. Hopefully you guys are liking it. Um, let's see. Let's go into our Carpenter's Blocks bag. And I'm going to need you. And I'm going to need you. And I'm going to take you. All right, so for fun, I thought what we could do here is just make this look Oh, what in the world? Okay, there we go. Um, this, I thought for fun, we could make this area look like it's, let's see, I'm actually gonna have to take this piece out. You know, like a pile of uh, salt, because that's kind of an important part with a lot of the Pam's things. Now, you might be wondering where the area is that we will build some of the foods, like the hamburgers and stuff. We're actually gonna build a restaurant attached somewhere to the village, and that is where that's going to be so that'll be pretty fun i can't wait to build that because that's gonna be fun too is kind of build a restaurant with a kitchen and um some different things like that i think i'm actually going to take out this block and i'm going to replace it with you and i'm going to replace this block um shovels aren't going to work scar you can't bang a shovel on the stone there we go just added a little detail there like a little stove or a little i mean a little bit of salt pile there looking super snazzy okay we got that going we got that i like that so one thing we can do to really kind of jazz up this thing a little bit is we can kind of knock in these blocks like so and we'll grab out our stone and just add some little pieces of detail like that isn't that amazing we did that a little bit on the terraforming out front but just adds all sorts of interesting and little details like right here let's say we remove this little pillar right here let's remove that there we go let's try not to make too many mistakes scar there we go and then let's say we just stick a little bit of stone on there and then we'll replace that and replace that and look at that it just adds just a little bit of extra detail and what if we went over here we bang that up and swap that and put that there just adding little pieces of detail here and there i think we can do a lot more of that coming up all right so give me one more second i'm sorry i'm taking so many breaks just kind of a little bit winded today and i'm going to start adding some of the seeds to these and i'll be right back all right and welcome back and we've got our pumpkins are all ready to harvest and ready to go so let's head back down and start getting some of that final detail pieces down so what i was thinking for this floor anyway is i feel like it probably should be a stone of some kind still haven't quite decided on which one i want but um yeah so look at all this look at all the cool little shelves with all their little seeds and i just think it looks perfect you know for our design that we're working on here um so i was looking at kind of how to make some juices and things and it's really not that complicated so we'll probably definitely maybe try to get that um, back end over there set up as an area for you know some bottles and things that would look like a cellar like a root cellar you know it has other things besides you know roots and seeds and different things like that it's got it's different canned foods and stuff like that so i think that'd be pretty cool and just miscellaneous storage and a great place to hide from you know aliens things lots of movies lots of movies always have a root cellar of some kind hiding from some kind of scary thing tornadoes monsters you know crazy axe guys you know all sorts of stuff <laughs> so let's get this all going there looking super spooky yes it is it's looking a little spooky here but for the most part i think it'll be great all right so um hmm so I'm trying to decide. I think we're kind of running out of shelf space, but that's fine because we have plenty of chests here to put our seeds, and we don't need a ton of seeds. These are just kind of backup seeds, of course, if anybody on the server, of course, needs some seeds or along those lines. There are ones for nearly every plant of the seed variety, so I think that'll be pretty cool. And then plant-wise, um, ones that aren't plants that will look cool and kind of go with the theme that we're building here will be in the chests, of course. So I think we've cleared out these boxes here. Let me check. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We have not. We still have quite a few more to go. So here we go. And of course, if any of you guys have any other suggestions for different um, things that we could incorporate within the, uh, the shells or down here, definitely let me know. I think we're actually full. We may have like one or two extra spaces. 
There we go, and place that last one there. It would be cool if we could actually do, um, you know, one of these shelves going this way on half of the slab, and then another one going there. So if you split the uh, the uh, block in half, because see, these only take up half of a block. If you could double up the shelves, that would be really super cool if that was possible, but doesn't quite look like it is. So I'm just gonna put my seed bags in there, and I will, uh, whoops, hey, I want that back. There you go, you can have that. Awesome. All right. So next thing we're going to move on to is trying to add a little extra detail up here. So as you can see, I did a little bit more kind of piecing together some designs and I think it's like slowly kind of coming together, it's slowly kind of coming together. Um, I would love to add some more of these plants hanging from the ceiling. I love this design. I think it looks cool. These, of course, are from the uh, furniture mod and the recipe is the uh, three and then another set of three across there looking super fine and i think that looks pretty cool there we go and then we'll kind of mix in just a couple little extra colors here and there just so it's not all repetitive and dark green add a little bit of light green in there too i think that looks pretty good awesome and then we kind of slip some more in there and kind of leave that section a little bit alone but this one might be a little too low let's remove that one there we go looking super fancy it's a little it may be a little too bright in here. I might want to back off on a few of the lights. What do you guys think? It's a, it's a little bright. It's definitely a little bright. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to add my pumpkin, but I actually don't want the pumpkin face to show. So I'm thinking like maybe a pumpkin right there, and then let's swap that out. Let's get make sure we have our chisel mod ready to roll, and then let's go in there, and I'm going to make some of these guys. There we go. I'm going to make maybe five or so of those, and then maybe some of you. There we go. Make a couple more of you. Um, any other ones that look cool? Any other of these boxes? This one looks kind of nice. There we go. Okay. Nice. And then let's see. We'll put you maybe right here. And then I'm going to put you maybe right there. I just kind of want to create kind of a stacked crate feel right here. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. And it even looks okay being covered up. Just looks like, you know, you're storing some materials. It would be nice if we had a little bit of, hey, get back here. If we had a little spruce wood, let me see if I got some. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, let me actually, I have planks ready to go. Wonderful. We're always prepared for things, right? There we go. And then let's see, can I get a darker color? I can. And guess what? It looks super snazzy. And I'm going to put that on top because that will make a great contrast. Looking super fancy. Awesome. I like that. And slowly we'll kind of fit in some more pieces there and things like that. Okay, so I've got some crafting benches and I need to incorporate one somewhere into the design here, but I don't know exactly where. So I'm thinking about maybe even like putting it right there so it's not like super intrusive and you can barely even notice it. See, it's just kind of like hanging out right there where we could maybe put some more pumpkins or something back there to kind of um, make that look a little bit better. Excuse me, Mr. Pumpkin. I kind of want to get back here for a second. There we go. Let's see. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. Put a pumpkin there, and I'm going to remove you one more time. Sorry about that. I'll put you back. Don't worry. There you go. And then I'm going to go sneak right here, and I'm going to try to place another pumpkin right there. I don't want the faces to show. That's, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Hmm. I seem to have made things worse. <laughs> I think they've made things worse. I've definitely made things worse. I definitely made things worse. It's a good thing I'm not a doctor. There we go. Wonderful. And then, uh, oh, oh, snap. I just got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's pull out this. I wonder if I can make a half a crate. Oh, that would be so cool. That would be so cool. Let me see. Well, let me see. We're going to make some magic, my friends. We're going to make some magic. Here we go. Bam. And then we're going to incorporate this one into there. And we've got ourselves a half crate. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. These mods are incredible amount of fun. Okay, there we go. I got really excited there, as you can tell. All right, there we go. I love it. That is starting to look really cool. So give me one second. Let's uh, put the finishing touches on us, and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. So let's head on down, and I added some stone here. A few more little details here in this staircase will look nice. It's not 100% there yet, but almost. All right, so I found these cool little root things that you can take. The uh, little, uh, you know, harvest craft sign with the uh, the wood uh, cutting board and the butcher's knife. You take that and put it with some, uh, it was some tea leaves or something along those lines, and it makes these roots. And I think that looks really cool. So I installed some of those along there because 
It's a root cellar after all. And anyway, I've got some uh, boxes up here looking super snazzy. And then I took a standard Minecraft pot and a carpenter's pot and put those along there. And I believe I put that extra little uh, plant right there looking super good. All right, so the recipe for a juicer, of course, is stone and that. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make two more of those. There we go. And then I'm going to hook those up here. And eventually I'm gonna have this into a more efficient juicery area if you, yeah, let's call it a juicery area, if you will. Uh, we'll have a more efficient area. We'll have a lot more fruits and different things down here eventually. But for now, because this was kind of an improv thing, because I didn't know about this, but this is like the coolest thing ever. Let me see. Let me do this right. Wait. Uh-oh. No, this worked a minute ago. I just tried it. No. Maybe you can't make plum juice. Or... Yes, there we go. Apple juice looking super snazzy. Oh, that's awesome. Let's put some apple juice on here. So I guess there's probably different recipes. Maybe you need, you know, another ingredient here or there, but um, we'll just do these basic ones. Uh, I'm sure there's plum. There's got to be a plum juice. Yes, there is. Looking awesome. Oh, that's cool. So we'll get different uh, jams and jellies and different things like that for this area. I think that looks really cool. Um, let's see, can we do one with it? whatever this is? I don't even know, dragon fruit, whatever in the world that is, I don't know, but I'm gonna make some more apple juice because apple juice is awesome after all. There we go. We can make one more, awesome. So eventually I'll get this more sorted out with more in addition, you know, more fruits and juices and different things like that. But that is starting to look awesome. It would be cool also to maybe get some like peanut butter going up here. Oh, I love that. I love that. That is starting to look really cool. Now let's, um, I, this is a good addition here, the crafting bench. It really works out nice to have that there. All right, so I think this is the recipe, but I'm not 100% sure. Yes, it is. A brick well? I mean, what the heck? Let's put a brick well in down here. I think that, that fits. I just don't know where. Like right in the middle? Put that right in the middle, maybe? I don't know, that might look a little odd, but it's also kind of cool to have like a little well down here to get some additional waters if we need it. I figured with the juices, you'd think you'd need like actual glass for the glass bottle and maybe water to, you know, dilute it, but apparently not. But anyway, there we go, my friends. I think we have built really cool thing down here. This is really fun. This was a really fun build to kind of come up with all the little different design ideas and hopefully you really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, so until next time, this has been Good Times with Sky, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter.